and good day. My name is Jürgen Steinmetz from eTurbo News, and this is a breaking news update. For more news updates and shows, please go to youtube.com slash travel news group, youtube.com slash travel news group. Here's our update. Minister promotes Jamaica's tourism now on Sky News interview. Jamaica Tourism Minister, Honorable Edmund Bartlett, was today interviewed on the UK's Sky News, one of the largest news organizations in the world, by journalist Ian King to discuss the island's COVID-19 recovery efforts and impressive winter tourist season figures. In the interview, which took place during the Ian King live show, Bartlett highlighted that tourism is the driving force behind the island's economic recovery from the impact of the COVID-19 pandemic. We have had three executive quarters of growth, starting with 13% in the first quarter, 7.8 in the second, and now we are at 5.8 in the third. Tourism has been the driver. We have had just a little over 1.6 million visitors for the year so far, and we earned a little over 2 billion US dollars, said Bartlett. He added that more than 80,000 workers have returned to the industry since the recovery began, and the interlinkages between tourism and the various sectors have grown and responded well. During the interview, Jamaica Tourism Minister Bartlett also noted that, based on current trends, the industry is set to see pre-pandemic arrival figures by the end of next year. We are now at about 60% of our 2019 arrival figures. We expect that by the end of 2023, going into 2024, we should go back to our 2019 figures and then grow beyond that. This will allow us to reach the targets we have set for ourselves of 5 million visitors and earning 5 million US dollars for the people of Jamaica, said the minister. Despite the prevalence of COVID-19 on the island, the minister stated that the health and safety measures in place have effectively limited the virus's spread, particularly in high-traffic tourist areas. The island has been able to do this by developing tourism resilience corridors, which have a 0.1% infection rate. The corridors span most of the island's tourism districts. This allows visitors to experience more of the country's distinctive offerings, since the health authorities have authorized visits to several COVID-19 compliant attractions located along the corridors. The corridor is a bubble that enables visitors to enjoy the full extent of the experiences that they seek while preventing them from becoming involved in the wider community activities that may assist in spreading the virus. We have also established the Jamaica Cares Program, which is a significant initiative that provides an end-to-end -end security arrangement for the visitors and the protection of our locals, he said. Sky News is a British free-to-air television news channel and organization. Sky News is distributed via a radio news service and online media. It is owned by Sky Group, a division of Comcast. More news about Jamaica. Hashtag Jamaica. Thank you for listening to our news update. There's more on youtube.com slash travel news group. Or you can read us, of course, in going to our news portal at etobernews.com or travelnews.online.